This is a method that actually combines the mouse and your keyboard so that you can select multiple cells at the same time. Now let's say I want to select from A1 through A5. I can click on A1 and then I can use shift key and then I click directly on A5. Now I've selected A1 through A5. Again, go back to click on cell A1 and let's say I want to select until C5. All I have to do is to, while pressing the shift key on my keyboard, I will just press my mouse click here on C5. I've selected A1 through C5, all the cells. And this is again a method that if you prefer using your mouse, you'll probably find this very useful and very effective. And also, if you have, um, if you want to select from let's say a1 through a random point here let's say b18 then i can use use my shift key on my keyboard and then click here i've selected all the cells so this is effective in such scenarios where you have to actually stop your selection at some random cell because if you use your control arrow key shortcuts it's not going to find this empty cell because the control will only find you non-empty cells. If you want to stop your selection at empty cells, this method can be effective, and especially if your data actually goes across multiple pages. And if I want to stop, for example, here, then I can just stop here. So this is easier to do with this approach because you can stop at a random cell, you can stop at an empty cell also, and that would not be feasible if you're using the control shift shortcut combinations, for example. And also compared to one of the other methods that we studied, which is the mouse click and drag. For example, if I want to select A1 through B18, I can select A1 and then drag all the way through B18. Of course, this is also possible and feasible. However, if you have to select across pages, dragging across pages would be a little bit more challenging and not the best use of time but if you could just click a1 and then go anywhere you want shift left click will get you to the end cell that you want to select mm -hmm. so this is a very effective method for these scenarios again remember that each method has its own benefits and also some people get very comfortable with a certain approach and they are very effective and efficient in using that so if this is your method please go ahead and use it there's no best method or the right method it is whatever that you feel comfortable using and you feel that you're being effective is the best method what i'm giving here are recommendations the scenarios where this method would be helpful versus some of the other methods but please try on your own and practice them and then choose the method that works best for you.